okay all right in this video we are going to see about how to remove this fpc connector uh, using the basic tools and uh, fpc connector uh, will be used in several boards you can see it in many boards so here we go let's do it Okay, so here uh, you can see the back side is empty. So what I'm going to do is just uh, hit the back side and remove the front side uh, FPC connector. So if you are uh, if you do it with uh, directly, it will melt down the plastic. So let's do it. Let's do it under the microscope. So first thing first, first we have to prepare the prepare the FPC connector uh, by adding the solder on each side like this. So why I am doing this? So it will be easily melt down uh, if you are heating from the back side. So uh, you should apply solder lid on both sides to get easily uh, easily melt down. And after that, for the pins also, you have to, you know it will it will uh, reduce the temperature um, target temperature uh, and it will be easily removed from the board and always remember don't do it directly because you know uh, if you are doing it uh, with a hot air gun directly it will melt down the plastic on the fpc connector so if it is bad if fpc connector you can do it uh, directly and you can change it uh, easily and uh, this is for education purpose and uh, i should uh, i should remove it and i should reconnect it so uh, so i'm doing this now i'm using flux to get easily remove from the board so more flux you used and it will be smoothly come and I apply the flux so now the part is we have to uh, heat from the back side then only it will be smoothly removed from the board so I'll be heating up with the uh, back side as you can see the uh, see the fpc connector is looking good so i don't want to destroy it so i'm going to heat from the back side and it will come very smoothly let's see now i'm heating from the back side and simultaneously I am taking my tweezer and uh, pull the connector upwards so that it will be coming out so here is my tweezer and I am heating it up and don't put over much pressure then if you are putting over much pressure it will be uh, creating that pad issue that pad will be gone so be careful like i'm job is done the connector is out and 
and I am using it for uh, like 480 degree uh, and depends on uh, depends on how much heat it, it needed I am I am using uh, from too far to too too close so like this it will happen and the connector is out as you can see and this bridges no problem we can easily remove remove the uh, bridges so connector is coming out easily so now let's prepare the board so how to prepare the board so it is very easy we have to remove the existing flux existing lead uh, from the board apply the flux and remove the ex existing lead using the solder wick and don't forget to uh, use the quality one because you know if you are using the quality flux I mean uh, quality flux and quality wick it will be uh, more smoother uh, smoother to you so be careful on it and now our job is done as you can see the whole flow lid is coming very smoothly and yes now we can connect our PC connector back and it's good it's good now fix the PC connector back and solder the left side and right side one to get fixed and after that we can solder the pins so first of all you need to level the FPC connector best and solder the two ends like this so be careful uh, because uh, if you give over much pressure and over much heat the pad will be gone and be careful whenever you are doing with uh, this type of uh, repairs and here we go like this settled and same way we have to do the other end see like this and yes it's fixed then we have to go to with the pins and apply the flux again so once it's settled our job is almost done and now i'm applying the flux and then Resolder with the soldering iron. That's it. You can see how it's getting connected. Like this bridge. Easy.
right done job is done and only thing is we need to remove this bridge that is so easy we have to and always remember you have to get the good soldering iron or else it will be making a mess so see like this it will come that's it so now it's looking good and perfect and it is perfectly fixed so now we can clean the bow and see the final output So this is the final output, the FPC connector is strong and didn't make any mess. Hope you like this video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any question, we'll do something else in the next video, bye bye.